Hey you, yeah, you there, watching this video, we're your biggest fans. Uh, yeah, that's right, I said, we're your biggest fans. So that is right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be making a big windmill, maybe even two today. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I got some wood collected here uh, that we're going to be using. We're going to make one off, uh, kind of starting off. I got to build the, the, the platform for it, and then we can go ahead and get to the to building the windmill. Uh, so last episode, we set up this cobblestone uh, farm. I do have it disabled for now uh, because we have too much storage. So yeah, I had to go ahead and stop that. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys something. So it was recommended to me in the comment sections that uh, I was running these backwards. Uh, the water needs to flow against these so it catches it more. And look at that, instead of the 160, we're getting 256. So, yeah, we have a whole lot of stress units being created here uh, that unfortunately are going to get uh, kind of smacked in the face by what we're going to be building here because we're going to be making a max tier windmill out of this. So it's going to be crazy. I need to go ahead and smelt up this cobblestone. Um, I totally forgot to do that. I thought I had a lot more stone bricks, so please forgive me. Okay, so now that we have the stone bricks, we can go ahead and get this far departed. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I, I got into a fight with a skeleton, he turned me into a pincushion, but other than that, we're doing okay, so we're gonna go up four blocks from here, two, three, four, and then we're gonna do some of this. So I tried doing this, uh, oops, by going out, um, instead of five of these sections, out seven, and it ended up looking really silly, so... I just decided that five by far looked the best, so that's what we're going with here. Um, yeah, I did test out in uh, Creative World. I've tested a lot of things out in Creative World messing with this. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, but yeah, lots of things in Creative Worlds because Create Mod is cool, but trying to understand it can be uh, difficult. <laughs> so. Let's see, one, uh, one, two, three, four, uh, five. So yeah, um, I did also a bit of testing with, oh, I might not have enough oak wood with me. Uh, I did a bit of testing with the designs for the windmill, and the one that we're gonna be using is the one that I think looks the best in my opinion. Uh, I tried a few different designs, but that was the one I liked the most. Um, boop. Okay, so we're just gonna go, not really straight up, but we're gonna go at a pretty steep angle. Um, so yeah, Blue Man Gaming is the, the guy I'm getting the design from, at this build style. Uh, I've just been trying it out for this series and I'm definitely liking it. He does it a bit better than I do. And when I mean a bit better, I mean a lot better. If you guys haven't checked out his channel, he's got some great build tutorials. He did a a harbor that I just thoroughly enjoyed watching. Like that was such an entertaining series to watch. I binge watched it when I was supposed to be making videos. So uh, sorry, but uh, yeah, uh, we got we got good builds because of it. So let's go ahead and do this later. Also been playing Fallout 4 over the past couple of days. Uh, now the reason I haven't really played it all that much, uh, when I originally played it, I got through to a part that really I got stuck at. I was in a bad spawn, and all of my quick saves were in also really bad spots. So I ended up, uh, instead of just restarting, I just said, screw it, I'm not going to play anymore. Went back to playing. I think it was Valheim at the time with my buddy Psychotic Butcher. Uh, but then I recently picked it up a couple days ago because I was watching some, like, build tutorials that people were doing from it, and I'm like, man, those those weapons look really sick. I think I like that game a lot if I gave it another chance. And I got past that part, got a better spawn. Uh, so yeah, I've been playing Fallout 4 a lot lately. So if you guys want to see me stream that, let me know now in the comment section. All right, but we're gonna take this beam all the way up here, like so. We're gonna jump here. Ooh, uh, do I have feather falling? I don't. That's something I truly need to get. Okay, so gonna bring these guys up. 
And the cool thing is there is a certain way that we're going to do this to make it look really structurally sound. But yeah, that's how it's going to look. Once we get that there, it will look a heck of a lot better. Uh, but I need to get some more wood, and we also need to fill this in with the stone brick. We're going to need a lot of stone brick, so I'm glad that we have that uh, that system smelting it up. So yeah, I'm looking, looking kind of goofy until we get those uh, cross supports in, uh, kind of like what we have over here. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so once we get up to this area where there's no more light coming through, we're gonna do this cross area, kind of like a support. And this block here is where we will be putting the windmill. Uh, so yeah, it'll be, it'll look great, trust me. It's got just enough room, so we'll put that guy there. It'll stick out one block, and then we can break this dude. Cool, so let's go ahead, now that that's in, ouch, ouch. Cool, so this isn't gonna look the best until we get that windmill going and then this thing looks fantastic. So let's go ahead and start working on that. All right guys, so I got a whole bunch of sheep over here that I've been shearing to get a whole bunch of wool. Uh, a few of them unfortunately got out over there. Uh, but yeah, I just lured them in uh, to over at this place. Uh, bred them up here because we need a heck ton of wool for what we're gonna be making now. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get that uh, made up. So yeah, we're gonna need a couple of things here. We're gonna need some white sails, some radial chassis, and or one radial chassis, and then the windmill bearing. So we're gonna start with the windmill bearing. Uh, this is really easy to make, uh, the windmill, and we can get so many stress units out of this, so I'm actually very uh, pleased with how easy this is. All right, so there's the turntable. Uh, we just need a piece of that. Okay, and then... A shaft. So I should be able to use stone, right? Oh yeah. All right, so there's the windmill, which is perfect. Uh, and then we're gonna need some radial chassis. And then those are gonna require logs, which is okay. Uh, so we need two of these. We, the cool thing is we only need just a few of those. And I did go to a swamp and kill some slime. Check out, I got two slime heads while I was doing it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna use dark oak for this. Even though dark oak is really valuable on the server, I have a lot of it because I went and deforested an entire, well, not an entire dark oak, but a big portion of the dark oak forest on the server. Uh, so I have a lot of that, so that'll be great. And we'll also make a, a farm for that later. All right, so we got the, the radial chassis, uh, and then now we're gonna need to make uh, quite a few of these uh, white sails. Um, all right, so we're gonna need a total of 108 of these white sails. Um, so I do have a bunch of wool here. We got five stacks. Uh, we are gonna save some of these and then probably not more than 30. Actually, we'll save a stack. So we're gonna use the, the rest of these guys for it. Uh, but how do we make the sail for, oh, those are surprisingly easy to craft. Uh, again, we're gonna use uh, well, actually, we can use oak. Even though we're going to need a lot of it, we need to get the windmill up and running because getting the windmill up and running means that we'll be able to um, get a lot more wood a lot more quickly if we do that. All right, so let's see here. 64. So we're going to do two stacks of those guys just to be safe. Um... Like so, perfect. All right, and then bam. So now we have plenty of the white sails. Uh, we have everything that we need to get the windmill created. So let's go ahead and build it. All right, so we're way up here now. Whoa, almost fell off. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this farty parted. Oh, we need to place that the other direction. That's right. I'm surprised I managed to catch that. Perfect. Look at that, we got it. If I had a wrench, we'd be able to make that really easy. Okay, so the radial radial chassis goes there. Uh, we put slime. Oh, if you double, whoa, we kept four. Oh, I didn't use it, that was weird. Okay, so next off, we're gonna build one of these going out from every direction. Trust me, you guys are gonna wanna after you see what this thing, well, you already know what it looks like because of the thumbnail. You guys want to build this, okay? I, I did a pretty good job. I ain't going to toot my own horn that much, but I, uh, I did a pretty good job. Okay, so over. 
over two, up one, and then it's eight blocks up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Okay, so now we just build out here like so, and then directly on, I wish I had some scaffolding, but I haven't, I haven't been focusing on that. So there we go, and then the white sails. promise you it's it's easier to build than I'm making it look it's actually real oh my gosh it's actually really difficult don't make me seem like it's easy because it's not all right so once you get that first layer in, these things become super easy so it goes up one two and then there and then yeah so then there's a two block gap and then a one block gap like so I'm telling you it's a lot easier in creative mode okay so that's one down uh, now we're gonna go ahead and do the other ones I'll do those off camera all right, so it is now complete. That block is not looking right. Uh, by the way, Boomerang is one of the most useful tools I think I have ever used in Minecraft. Because, I mean, like, especially when mining the bigger trees, like, you can just be like, hey, I want to mine that block. And you get it. So I highly recommend using it if you guys have not. Uh, but now is the moment of truth. We got a pillar up on the back and turn it on. All we gotta do is just click it with an empty hand. So let's get this bread. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Oh, there we go. 8,192 stress units. It's currently moving. Um. Let's go, let's go take a look. What the, oh, I know what I need to do. So, uh, I did, I made a mistake. We do need to have a wrench uh, because uh, there's a default uh, width to the, the chassis that we were using. So we just gotta stop that real quick. Oop, falling down, oop, falling down. Okay, I just discovered I've never actually made one of these. So we're gonna need to go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, we just need a stick, okay. And then we just need three of these guys smooshed up. We can very easily do that. Okay, with the wrench properly made, we can go ahead uh, we do need to go to the front of it, and then we're just going to set it to the max size. Um, and then it will be able to spin all of it. Now, the reason why it said we had so much is because it was spinning all of the... What are these called again? The, the sails. Uh, and this is just for looks. The wool, I think the wool actually does add a little bit, but we're, we're maxed out with these uh, sails. And the wood obviously doesn't add anything. It just makes it look a lot better. Uh, so that's the only reason why uh, we want to do that is because it looks so good. All right. So we take the wrench and we just scroll up. And as you see, so you can scroll all the way down to one or you can go up to 16. And this fits perfectly within uh, that area. Oh, I got blocked. Do you see that? That was kind of funny. Okay, so all we got to do now is now we click it and everything is going all right let's get a good look at that bam hey look at that dudes isn't that cool or what why is that rotating the opposite direction um so we do need to go ahead and remove that top stair but isn't there a way all right so the gui is saying that if we use a wrench we can configure its rotational direction so we're gonna go ahead and give that a try okay now it made it look like you need to click it from the side 
A right click bearing with an empty hand to attach the structure you want in front of it. Ah, okay, maybe the GUI's a little outdated on itself. Aha, there we go. Okay, so all you gotta do, yes, that's the direction I want it to go. So you need to look at it with the wrench and then you can scroll with it, it tells you to. So yeah, all you gotta do is just scroll. So we definitely wanna go in that way side of that because I think in my opinion it looks the best. If you guys think differently, if you think it look, uh, spinning the other way is more accurate, let me know, but from what I can tell, this is probably more accurate because it's spinning toward the fans if they're being pushed. You know, maybe? Let me know down in the comment section if you think that's spinning the right way or not. Okay, so it's great and all that we have this thing rotating, uh, but we need to go ahead and uh, get the power out of it, the rotational force. So we're gonna be running these shafts all the way down, and I realize I just got rid of all of my dirt, so it's gonna be a little ugly. Please forgive me. So what we're gonna do here, is get up to the top. Uh, we're gonna obviously pull that out here. We need to back up uh, two blocks actually. And so we can bring that here. And then a vertical one going down. Uh, like so. Oh, and yeah, eventually we're gonna fill that with the birch logs uh, to match up the rest of everything. But for now, we're just gonna bring it all the way down. And we do have some supports that might make it look really cool. Okay, so here is our rotational force. Um, very cool. We're gonna do that. And then we have these cool metal brackets that we can put on there to kind of make it look like the, the shaft is connected to something that's you know securing it. Uh, so once we fill up this wall with birch and the windows, uh, we'll have these connecting all the way down and then this will go through the floor actually. Uh, but yeah, now we have our power down here. We can go ahead and split it off and go into our cobblestone or something like that. So yeah, very, very exciting. Okay, so we got a few things I wanna go ahead and make here now. Uh, these are gonna help us see how much uh, power we have at our disposal um, from a lot lower instead of having to look directly at it. All right, we're gonna be making a speedometer and a stressometer. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and make those. Looks like we have almost everything we need. We just need a, a compass, uh, so that's pretty simple. And then what about you? Oh, it's just, okay, so we just need to make two compi. Compi compasses. All right, and then a stressometer. Okay, so, what we're going to do is actually we're going to do something kind of unique. Um, we're actually going to get rid of that thing we just created. Or actually, no, we're going to go one down. So we're going to keep that thing we just created, even though we're probably going to replace it with an enclosed uh, andesite casing. This guy here. It won't let me take a look at it. Anyway, basically we're going to put a gearbox here so it doesn't look like uh, we're going through the ground. Uh, but we're gonna place it like so, and as you can see, it will spit out from both directions. But we don't want it that way. All right, so it says network stress, low percent. It says it does give us the remaining amount of stress units we have, and then it's also giving us the speed. So this is currently spinning at 16 rotations per minute. Uh, so cool, we, we can always go ahead and speed that up. And uh, obviously with gear ratios, we can make that better. So I wanna go ahead and see what our other farm over here is running at. Uh, because underground, we are gonna keep the water mills because they are you know, just another source of you know, rotational power. Um, but let's see how fast we're running here. 256 RPM, so that's why we can't make it any faster, because that is maxed out. Uh, but we don't have, a vi hold up, so what do we, so the only way, no, you can convert it back, perfect, okay. So I do wanna check this out. So how much available stress? 
Yeah, saying we're only getting 500 and... Oh, fi- we're using 512 out of 3,300. Okay, that makes sense. I was actually a little worried there, but I didn't realize how I was supposed to read it. Okay, so that means we're good. We're definitely going to go put the network or the statistics back because that is very handy just to have available at all times, letting you know how much you're using because uh, I don't believe these use any of these. These just, you know, say, hey, this is how much you're using. So this is speed and this is... Uh, clearly how much we have left now we could make this much faster by putting a big gear spinning on the inside there uh, going into a small gear and then going into that but i don't think we need to do that uh, necessarily right now you know i might as well just make a second one while i'm here All right, guys, so I think it's time to go ahead and get this second one going. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. For some reason, this one looks way longer than all the other ones. I think this should be just because of the angle that we're looking at it from. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and after I get this food in my belly, uh, we can go ahead and get this guy placed. See, that guy there, he's already ready, that spider. He wants to play. Okay. 
So we're going to basically do the exact same thing as over there. Um, we're going to use dirt this time because we're cool. And so I did put a temporary dirt block there so we can... Okay. It placed the right direction this time. Okay, there we go. All we got to do is click it. Yes, and it is flowing the opposite direction. We need to click it again real quick and probably do, Ooh, boy. Okay, so here we go. Scrolling all the way out again. Perfect. I can't believe I forgot to do that again. That's kind of crazy. Crazy good. Okay, so now that that's there, we can click this. All of those should be going. They show is, and they're going the opposite direction from that one, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, so we're coming out here two blocks. Uh, the cool thing is we do have uh, two vertical boys. Uh, so if we need them, we can use them. Uh, so bam. And we're going to need this guy on our hot bar. Okay, perfect. So then we can put on this guy here and then this guy. And so, yep, that's rotating. Let's go ahead and make two more of those. Um, I guess you would call them uh, the speedometer and stressometer. That is crazy looking. <laughs> oh, man. All right, there we go. We have both of them now. So let's just go on over here and we can place them. Cool thing is we don't seem to be suffering from a whole lot of frame drop. Actually, we are getting a little bit. Normally we get about 200, so it's cut our frame rate almost in half. But that's fine. We don't have to worry about it, right? It's not going to affect anyone who comes to my base and wants to say hi, but they can't because they can't, you know, play Minecraft. Dude, no one's going to do that. Okay, so here we go, stressometer, speedometer. So there we go, 16 RPM and 8192 stress units. Perfect. But ladies and gentlemen, check these things out. Man, is that cool or what? It's a big factory. So that's why we got the windmills on it. Oh, man. So, yeah, these are going to go all the way back. We're not going to have any windmills on the back. We're not that crazy. We might be that crazy. You never know. We might need some more stress units later on. Uh, but, yeah, this is going to have all the cobblestone uh, generators here. And uh, we're going to be producing cobblestone and shipping it over to this side. And we're going to be making gold and iron over here. But that's going to be in a future episode uh, next episode, guys, we're going to be creating a tree farm uh, with Create. I highly recommend you guys check that out. It's going to be coming out for you guys very shortly. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Two massive windmills, guys.